Greetings everybody, this is Etho. Welcome back guys to another episode of Crash Landing. Uh, today, let's sleep real quick. Oh, can't sleep while raining. Here, let's do this. <laughs> it's not raining. Look at all this cover I have. Oh, come on monsters, get out of here. Oh, it worked. Good, good, good. So guys, I am very excited because today I finally, finally have a smeltery set up and we can use it. Yeah, they're loud. <laughs> I have to live with that all the time. Drives me crazy. Yeah, like we've been accumulating ores here for so long. This thing is like running all the time pretty much. Um, and I haven't really done anything with them. Just like taken what I've needed. Now we can actually smelt them down and, and try to get some, some value out of them. Um, and like put them to use. So, the very first thing we're going to do though, we're going to make some Invar and some Electrum, I think, because most machines require a machine frame and that's what they take. They need this stuff. So, that is pretty important. So, I prepared... Oh, I guess I didn't do the silver. Let's just do that. Eight blocks of silver. Um, yeah, Electrum is gold and silver. Invar is, what is it, what is it, what is it? Iron and nickel, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think we got everything. So let's head on over to our new building. I did some more work on uh, the building we were working on last time. Made a few adjustments. It's pretty far from complete still, though. I guess we'll need a bucket of lava for fuel. And actually, we probably need this too. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's a little snag that. Good, good. We're safe. Everything's good. Let's get our glider ready. And here we go. So, yeah, this, this building is nice to have. It's nice to have some actual space to work with. Uh, but you'll notice there's something missing here still. <laughs> Can you guess? Yeah, we're missing walls. Uh, we got no walls, we got no ceiling, and it's it's not very safe right now. But it'll, it'll do. We'll we'll finish it as we go. Let's get this thing over here. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, right here. Right here. Good. So we can drop our fuel into the tanks. And let's start making... I guess we'll start with Electrum. So we'll melt this down, and I think... Uh, is it 8 gold? Or, or no, we probably need 16, right? We'll, we'll let that go first. Um, so, a lot of you guys are telling me, though, I should make this thing here. the Whatever this oven is. High oven, that's right. <laughs> make a high oven. You were saying it gives triple the ores, which sounds pretty cool. But you can only do one at a time, as far as I can tell. I've never used this before. But reading through this, it says you only do one at a time, and you cannot make these alloys in it. So that's that's something we got to do in here to start off with. Yeah, we need more gold. Let's add a little bit more gold, and we'll start melting down. Uh, how much nickel? Um, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> I'm gonna start to uh, start with this, so we can we can pour this already, right? Yeah, I'm going to try automate lava production for this thing as well, so I don't have to keep like running back and forth, back and forth filling it uh, with lava. And woohoo! <laughs> We're rich! Yay! Seven... Oh, 23, good. So I got the ratio right there. Yeah, so there's a few things I want to try with the smeltery here. Um, first thing we're going to do... I'm going to drop in four of these. These are the seared bricks. You need these to make the smeltery bricks. Uh, the ones we have here I found in the city. That was the only way I could get them. But I believe if you have a smeltery, you can... Yeah, they convert into seared stone. And notice the amount, 144. All right, and then you take seared stone... And what do you do with it? <laughs> That's how you make the scorch bricks. Okay. 
Yeah, this one here. You pour it onto cobblestone, 72, so that's half you get from a, a brick. You take this, then you melt it, and you get 144, so it, it doubles it, basically. So that's what I want to try to do. Maybe, so I think I got to put this in here, right? Is that the way it works? Oh, we'll have to wait for that just a little bit. Uh, maybe we will start setting up our lava generator. So I'm going to put a crucible maybe over here. And then if we put a fluid duct next to that, hopefully we can get the pipe, the liquid out. We might need a uh, pneumatic servo on there. And then we'll put a chest maybe just above here and an item duct. And that will pump uh, cobblestone into it, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Whoops. Don't waste these. <laughs> They're very, very valuable to us. Yeah, that's not going to go on its own, is it? We either need a lever. Here, maybe I'll just use a lever instead of a servo. Uh-oh, is it time to go inside? I think it's time to go inside, guys. Did that work? Oh, no, that doesn't work. I thought it would. Oh, it does work. Okay. <laughs> ah, stop confusing me. Yeah, I'm going to get the jetpack ready because we probably have to fly pretty soon. Uh, but just really quick here, I want to try pour this. Got to select the seared brick. They're good. They're there. <laughs> They're just trying to figure out how to get up here. Yeah, it worked. Okay. And then we can melt it, right? Yeah, it's it's getting melted. Cool. Um, okay, one sec. I'll finish this in the day. Let's go back to base. Oh, man, I had a close call here. This guy, this sneaky little guy <laughs> with the crazy teeth, he shot me and it took like half my life. Oh. These guys are so strong. There's another one right there, but he doesn't have a bow at least. Nope, 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 nope. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got him. Oh, he dropped a sword. Pain three, one hit. That's not going to do much. I got to get my... Uh... Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay, I'm getting thirsty again. So let's finish this up real quick. So... Actually, I should have stayed down here. I was going to put a torch below this crucible. Like that. Yeah, it's starting to convert now into lava. We're still safe down here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> got to keep checking. Maybe I'll just stick a lever underneath here too so it'll power this uh this fluid duct here if we put it over here i think that'll be be okay oh yeah it says it has lava in is it going into there it is aha the number's climbing that's great so that will constantly create lava if we want to speed it up we could uh put a better heat source underneath that than the torch like we could put lava or that pyro stuff over there um, but that is nice and simple, so we just got to feed it cobble. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to make a bunch of these seared bricks, and maybe we'll start doing some quests and, and making some machines here. Um, well, that happened quick. <laughs> ah, first death. Etho was blown up by Creeper. So, good news. The sink core works. Got an extra life. The bad news, uh, I died. <laughs> I did not hear that guy at all. What is my sound at? 14%. That might be why. Just like, boom, from nowhere. That's my grave. Okay. Let's try to get that back without dying again. Actually, if I die again, that's it. <laughs> so I have to make sure this thing works, right? Yeah, let's get it generating. Can't be too crazy here. Man, I can't believe that. I was just like shooting some skeletons and then boom. Had no idea he was even there. I wonder if it was like one of those quick creepers. Like if he just ran up behind me and I didn't see him. 
because I was out in the open. Man, how do I get out there? I'm gonna put this on. I need my stuff. Oh, you know what? I got all these old picks. I should grab one of these. Um, <laughs> can bring some blocks just in case things go bad. All right, I need you guys to despawn. I need my stuff back. Hmm. Why does it say no environment data? I might need to relog. One sec. Yeah, the relog seems to have gotten rid of that warning. Um, there's only one guy tracking me right now. This seems to be the safest place to go. I'm going to bridge over there. There's no skeletons. No skeletons. There's one over there. Got to be careful. Don't want to get shot down. Okay. That guy, <laughs> how quick is he? Is he going to be following me the whole way? Here, let's let's get him over here. And then we're just going to run. We're going to run like the wind. Go, 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 go. Stop following me. Stop following me. He's right on me. No. Why is he so quick? <laughs> I got the needle gun. I got the needle gun. What? Dude, he's faster than me. Oh, he's one of those jumping guys. No, 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 no. You jerk. Climb for a second. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that guy was not messing around. Okay. And I am not either. I'm out of here. Well, I gotta get my stuff too, don't I? Some of it I didn't grab. Yeah, let's just get it real quick here. Oh, what is that? Food? I can live without food. Yeah, let's get over here. I gotta get some water in me. That was almost another close call. I shouldn't have done that. Should have waited. But I'm so impatient, you know? <laughs> I can't wait. This thing takes so long to generate. It's only at 41%. Okay, I think we're safe to leave now. Etho number... I guess this would be Etho number 3, right? Because Etho 1 just died. I'm Etho 2. This is Etho 3. <laughs> uh, he, he's all ready to go. Uh, we got to go on a little mission here. I'm trying to uh, do some of these quests right now. This is what we need to make for one of them. And we need redstone. I don't have enough redstone. I'm pretty much out of glowstone too. I actually... The reason I died is because I was breaking these l lamps here, <laughs> the glowstone I had there. And when I went down to harvest it is uh, kind of when I died, although I was like way over there. Um, but yeah, we got to go get some dust. So I got TNT. Let's get our glider ready. And we'll just go kind of far away just so it doesn't affect us where we are. Um, probably over here. It's probably good. It's going to blow up a bunch of TNT. Yeah. I got this TNT at the city, so I don't mind using it. Do, do, do. Just do this. Nice and quick. Easy way of getting dust. I don't have the, the excavator or any of the fancy tinker's tools. And there we go. Let's go grab the stuff. Alright, I got this thing sifting dust now, and I got enough redstone to make the three lamps we need. And do that, do this, and some iron. Is that right? No. <laughs> Is it like this? There we go. That gets us the UV light box. We're trying to do this quest here. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll just place it and see what it does. Does it have to be in a dark area? <laughs> Oh, does it need, uh, it might need pressure. Okay, let's move this and let's bring it up to our air compressor here. And I think we just gotta pressurize it. Let's see, I guess I'll just remove this for now. Whoops. Oh no, we're losing pressure. It's not going in it. Oh, that worked. Okay. <laughs> uh, then we just gotta drop this in and possibly the speed upgrades. Yeah, it's going, so it's 2 out of 100, 3 out of 100. 
Awesome. So we just got to wait. All right, cool. I think we did it here. Let's check the book. Claim reward. Oh, yeah. That unlocks etching. Etching, etching. So you... <laughs> oh, good job reading. Um, so now you have an empty PCB. What do you do with it? Simple. You drop it in a hole and pour etching acid over it. It takes five minutes to process, though. So you are going to want to pick it up a few times, both to check on the process and to make sure it doesn't despawn. Oh, that is dirty. That is so dirty. <laughs> you have to... You have to baby it like crazy then. You will need transistors and capacitors for the step. Three of each. Recipes are in NEI. Then it is a simple manner of combining those with the unassembled PCB and then you are done. Don't worry, there is a better way to do this that will be covered later. Oh, there better be. Okay, so I need etching acid. I was just about to make some of that actually. Let's see, let's open up the pressure chamber. Out of the way, Etho 3. Alright, so etching acid was water, rotten flesh, spider eyes, gunpowder, and plastic. That's what I just made. Oh no, don't throw all eight in. <laughs> Darn it. Now I gotta redo it. I tried right clicking and it, it threw them all for some reason. Alright. Ah, oh, stop giving it back to me. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and close it before I grab it again. Okay, I think that's going to work now. Let's pressurize it. And we should get the acid. We got the etching acid now. Let's try this out. So it sounds like we got to pour that into something and then throw it in there. And it's probably going to have like a durability to it. And I kind of just want to check it to see if it's doing anything. <laughs> Etching process, 4%. Okay, it is. It is. Good. So I'll just... I'll kind of watch that for a little bit. It should finish. Uh, I'm trying to make this pressure chamber interface now. Uh, this part is fairly e easy. It's these cylinders that are trouble. We got to get some of this uh, rain plant seeds. We need... We need these as well. Four gold, one compressed iron. Whoa, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I got this thing very close to finished. It's at 96%. I want to see if we can see it change right in front of us. Um, I was looking in my seed supply. Oh, yeah, it did just change. That's cool. <laughs> and ta-da. I was looking at my seed supply, trying to make this thing right. And we need these blue ones. I don't have the rain plant seeds, but we can make them. I have lapis. We just need to get the grass seeds. And we can get grass seeds probably if we just shut the water off here for a moment. I'm hoping this doesn't kill all the crops. This is not an ideal setup. If, uh, <laughs> if this sugar cane updates, it's all going to pop off, which is fine, I guess. Um, but I think we can maddock the, the grass. Oh, hello. Soybean and radish seeds. I'm looking for grass seeds. I thought you could get grass from this. Oh, it just updated. <laughs> and they all got popped off. Alright. I'm getting a lot of... Uh, hmm, maybe you can't get grass seeds doing this. I thought you could. Getting a lot of the, like, fruits and vegetables. Yeah, no grass seeds, though. So maybe I have to sift dirt to get it. All right, well, let's give it a shot, then. Let's see if we can get any more grass seeds. Oh, first try. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's uh, get a lapis. There we go. Rain plant seeds. And I believe I can just plant these. Uh, so we'll go plant these. And uh, I forgot, but we did finish that quest, right? So we should check this out. Oh, there's another step to it. You will need transistors and capacitors for the step three of each. Oh, I still have to... I have to... Uh, that's right, I gotta...
do this. Okay. I can do that. Let's sleep first. Okay, let's try to get these rain plant seeds first, I guess. So we'll go over here. And they're probably much like the creeper seeds. Let's throw them on the ground, right? Ta-da! <laughs> Bone meal. One, two. Oh, yeah. One, two. One, two. I want to see what happens if you make it go more than more than two. I'm afraid it's going to make it start raining. It's kind of what I'm guessing. Oh, nope, maybe not. Maybe you can't. If you overgrow the creeper ones, they explode. <laughs> nah, I can't overgrow this one. Huh. It probably does do something, though, right? I kind of assumed they all did something, but maybe not. Very good. So I put the rain seeds in the pressure chamber, and now we have blue plastic. I also... Uh, got ready to craft this thing, so let's make it. And we should finish a quest with that, right? Yeah, claim reward. Whoa! <laughs> and that unlocks two new ones. Tools of the trade. I think we got one of these at the city. Charging station. I got that from the city. Yeah, I got that from the city, so it wants me to find a GPS tool. Uh, Pneumatic Craft has a lot of useful tools and gadgets. While these quests serve as a rough guide, I recommend checking out the Pneumatic Craft wiki and perhaps YouTube spotlights for a better and more thorough understanding of this mod. Uh huh. So I guess if I find this in the city, I can I can use it. Uh, upgraded. This is for. Oh, excuse me. Burps. Oh man, terrible. <laughs> uh this is for making the upgrades, it looks like, for Pneumatic Craft. So, I guess let's just try to finish this one here. So, let's put the plastic in. And if I remember correctly, it's iron and then these down here. Yeah. Okay, and we need a hopper. You know, I did not think of that. <laughs> I did not prepare a hopper. Oh no. Panic! We don't have a hopper. I'm going to steal the one from up here. Alright. You know, when I started this, I didn't realize I could use item ducks to uh, pull stuff out of, like, a, like out of these barrels and, and whatnot. <laughs> so I was making hoppers all the time. Uh, it turns out you can just use the item ducks they give you in the quest. So, yeah. Would have been a little easier. Now, I think it was hopper. That's... And yeah. Claim reward. Oh, we get a reward bag from this one and more item ducks. Cool. Doesn't unlock anything new though. Did we uh did we get to the third one? No, third one's still not open. What's left in basic survival here? Oh. Oh man, we can do this. <laughs> We've pretty much done this. Oh, I don't have any of the seared bricks on me, though. I'm going to make one of these today, too. Um, what else was there? Oh! Oh, yeah, we just did this, too. Claim reward. I got to pick one. I can take redstone. Oh, rubber tree seeds. That was something I kind of wanted. Although these... You, you know what? These seeds are pretty easy to get. Maybe we don't need them. I'm pretty low on redstone right now. Yeah, I'm going to pick redstone, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'll figure out how to make slime plant seeds later if I need to. And that unlocked power underwhelming. Well, we're finally getting somewhere. However, before we can really progress, we need a source of power. I think I've found the perfect place to start. Those teleporting aliens leave behind these curious pearls that give off some strain, strange energy. I think you could build a generator that uses those as fuel. Ender generator, really? <laughs> I do not kill a lot of endermen. That doesn't seem like something I would use. Ramping up. Oh, we need a grinder and reactant dynamo. And we unlocked this one as well. We do have leadstone. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure we have all those. 
Leadstone. Let me put these away. Leadstone and what was it? Water bottles? Piece of cake. We can do this. Um, oh yeah, the reward bag. <laughs> Let's see what we got. 4.65% chance to get this reward. Click to close. Oh, it just gave it to us already. We got blackberry seeds. Oh, it gave us a bunch of them. Oh, I see, I see. So, uh, it gave us all of them, I guess. That was our reward, all these seeds. Uh-huh. And it is getting loud outside. <laughs> That's what killed me today, you know? The start of the episode, I turned the sound down for the mobs, because they were annoying. Then wrecked in the recording. And then I never turned it back up, and they got me. Because I didn't hear the creeper behind me. Um... Okay, what was I doing? Water. We need water, right? Water bottles? Yeah, we're ready. Let's go upstairs. Whoa. Um... I think it said we needed four. One, two, three, four. Voice crack. <laughs> and... That one was very easy. Claim reward. Iceberg. Oh, glacial precipitator. High golem. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's a machine. The very first machine I want to make is a pulverizer, I think. that Because then we can use it to make gravel and sand and dust and all that stuff that I use all the time. Um, without having to use this crazy device here. <laughs> That's not very efficient. Um, was there any other quests I was supposed to do? Oh yeah, we were going to do this one. Okay, let me get some stuff together here. Alright, so here we go guys. This was my main goal for the day. <laughs> get a pulverizer. So, finally got the printed circuit board. That was the main hold up. And you get these logic expansion cards if you do this. I'm going to make two of them, so we'll probably want lots of machines. And then we needed the Invar. There's so many steps to the whole thing. And then that. You know, I should have just did two, because <laughs> I'm going to want two. Um, and that, all right. So the pulverizer is that recipe. Put the machine frame in. Flint and steel. This redstone reception coil is just two two redstone, one gold, so it's pretty cheap. And then two copper. And I finally have <laughs> my pulverizer. Oh, I wanted this so bad. Cool. So also, uh, we did that seared brick stuff today, and I made a bunch of it. I'm going to go ahead and make three of these. We will be using these to make the tool forge so I can get my upgraded Tinker's tools but we'll get into that next episode. Um, oh, I thought they disappeared for a second. <laughs> it's like, you just you just stole what I worked so hard to achieve, but they, they popped in my inventory. Okay, so that also allows us to finish the quest. Not that one. I thought I clicked this one. There we go. Claim reward. I can take clay or bricks. I'm going to pick the clay because it's basically the same thing but less uh, processed I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that does that and that unlocks triple play. Oh so it does actually give you triple. I wasn't sure if, if uh, you guys were telling the truth or not. Maybe it was a different mod pack but I guess it is in this one that it gives you triple. Um, but we'll get into that next time. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the episode. Again, we got some pretty good progress. I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.